Before this video starts, I talk about a lot of problems with YouTube and its notifications. So if you want to verify that everything works properly and you actually see my videos when they come out, you should join the Discord. Uh, Discord.gg slash 30 virus. Immediately upon joining, you're given an, a role called notifications and there will be a bot called MeSeeks that pings you within minutes of my video coming out. So just have the app installed on your phone or the desktop notifications enabled or whatever, and you're guaranteed not to miss a post of mine. Also notification bell on YouTube works too, but only barely. If you click the bell and then uh, go to more options and select notify always, that could work, but MeSeeks is the more definite way to do it. But I guess if you don't want Discord, there's an option as well. Anyway, on with the video. I guess we're back for another video and welcome to another 30 verse runs. And today, instead of being an angry rant like most of these, uh, today I'm going to be clarifying something that's been getting other people mad. So, a lot of people have heard me and Fezzy coin the term content drought. And it's gotten people pissed off because it comes off as a little complainy. Like, oh, it's the content drought. We're out of content. We can't upload anything because Skyblock has no content. Like, these phrases piss people off. <laughs> And today, I'd like to explain why we say that and make the point that the content drought is real, okay? It's not just a skyblock thing. It's not just an... What? Or oh, you can do that. Bye. <laughs> Use TNT as a crutch. They can't even fight. Like, bruh. Okay, that was kind of hypocritical. <laughs> I mean, if you insist... What? Hello? These hits are not registering. Oh, anyway, uh, the content drought. So what is it? Why is it a problem? And why is it real? So first of all, when I say content, like what is content? Well, content is something that my viewers want to watch when I upload it. It's not just videos. Like anything could, by that definition of content, anything could be content. Me sitting eating a bowl of cereal could technically be content, right? I can upload a video of me eating cereal and it'll probably get trash views, but it's a video. But that's not what I mean when I say content. What I mean is something that not only can I record and upload it and it'd be, you know, a decent topic that's actually interesting, but it's something that my subs will actually watch. Something that's in my niche. So that narrows things down a bit. So what is content exactly? Well, uh, 30 virus rants for one. This series is 100% content. It's something that I've gotten into the groove of uploading. It's something that people actually somewhat care about. And it's something that gets decent views and watch time. And I get a return on my quote investment when I pay Fezzy to edit. That's content. So what does that leave us other than Skyblock and 30 Virus Rants. Well, that's the problem. That's why there is a quote, content drought. Because Skyblock is a game that only updates once every few months with a major update. I'm not talking about like, you know, oh, we got one new item and like a million bug fixes. Like, no, like an update, like adding a new island. Like even Dungeons was barely content now that that again that makes people pissed off when i say the dungeons is which is by the way if you don't play skyblock the most recent update it is not really that much content it's a little bit so it's something that people don't really like watching all that much unless you really lean hard into like the updates and new items and new mechanics and strategies and stuff but just playing dungeons isn't really content whereas just playing skyblock kind of was so it is no secret that now that we've gotten the definition out of the way, content's kind of hard to get from a game mode that only updates every few months when you upload every day. A daily upload cycle saps away content so quickly that you run out within days of an update coming out if you're not careful. So hopefully at this point, people understand what I mean when I say there's no content. Obviously, there is content for other YouTubers. This is a very 30 virus centric definition i would say so now that we've gotten that out of the way how do we fix the problem of the content drought well first of all people have been telling me to take a break because this has really been getting to me now 
as of as of recording this commentary video i've been three days without electricity the hurricane recently knocked out not only power but internet for three days and i just got it back yesterday Ooh. okay what is with these combos today so I had a pretty decent chance at a break because I spent three days just sitting on my bed looking at my phone, not doing YouTube stuff. It was nice, but the problem is I, uh, I guess I'm going to get into why taking a break is not necessarily a solution because my goal as a YouTuber is to produce entertaining and fun content that people come back for, right? But it's also, since it's my job, my goal is to make a living, is to make money from ad revenue and from live stream donations okay so the problem with taking a break from youtube is that it cuts off that line of earnings right so technically yeah the channel could survive if i were to just not upload for a week but that would have disastrous results in the algorithm in terms of like sure like people are gonna remember i exist people aren't that like fickle they're still gonna remember 30 buyers but the algorithm is going to be like oh this man's watch minutes has recently plummeted because of the lack of new videos but you know the algorithm's dumb so it doesn't really draw that connection it's just like well this channel's getting a lot less watch minutes lately that means they're not getting people's interest as much so we're gonna push his content less because he's not as quote relevant or not getting as much attention aka not getting as many watch minutes and that much money youtube's all about how much youtubers earn oh you are annoying can you just stop oh my god really no the algorithm makes this dumb assumption that I'm not relevant anymore if I stop uploading for a week, which is really annoying because I'm used to a daily upload schedule. I'm no Technoblade, Time, Diopagico, whatever. My subs are used to daily content and everything's relative, right? So it's all percentages. If my view count dips by, say, 90% because I upload... Oh my god! Okay, maybe not 90%, but like one-seventh of the views I normally get. If I go from daily to weekly, then I'm gonna see a huge hit. To my video performance and that's i'm not gonna say permanent but it kind of sets me back you know it's like i have to kind of restart that phase of youtube that amount of views on youtube also fezzy lives off the editing so if i were to upload one seventh as much then fezzy's going to earn one seventh as much and this is his career too so getting paid one seventh the amount because i pay him per video is not an option that's just career death right there and then he would probably not be able to edit anymore. I would probably have to edit my own videos again. And if anyone remembers my channel from 2018 and whatnot, that's not a good thing. Um, and I don't want Fezzy to have to, you know, leave and find a new job because I think we have a really good thing going here. So not uploading as frequently is not an option. That's not a solution. It just makes things worse. Even if my mental state, quote, recovers, things are going to be much more difficult from that point on. Moving on. So the second solution that people bring to me is just upload less often. Well, that brings problems too. So it's one thing to take a one-time break of a week, right? I mean, sure, I could go a week without getting paid, right? Fezzi has told me that that might not be true. But let's say in a, you know, let's assume that a week break, we'd survive. But if we make it part of our schedule to upload less often that's again going to hurt fezzy really bad even if i upload once every other day that immediately halves how much he makes which is not good it also halves how much i make too because again youtube is a numbers game if you start collecting less watch minutes then the algorithm is going to see that it's going to be like huh this channel's not getting as many watch minutes as it usually does that must mean they're on a decline. So let's just stop recommending their stuff. It's a big problem. There's many things that lead to YouTube making that conclusion. And it really sucks because it's not true. Like if you're just uploading less often, it doesn't mean that you're becoming less relevant. It just means that you're not friggin' on the treadmill. Oh, good. Of course he has that death noise. All the sweats have that death noise. He has iron armor. No! 
no, 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 I've been told many times, oh, just be like timed, you know, Technoblade, whatever. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. If you look, right, people might perceive someone like Piggy Cooler Time Dio as doing better than me at YouTube, but they don't, they look at the per video stats, which again, I have nothing against. They're my friends. They're actually, you know, they're, I'm chill with them. We're cool. But the thing is, when people tell me to be like them, I look at my stats and their stats, and then it's like, well, you're not seeing this. You're not seeing that I get like four times the views of someone like Time Dio, five times the views of Pig. It's not that I'm a, you know, it's not better or worse YouTubers. It's just because of my upload schedule. Obviously, the, you know, my video quality is not better than theirs, but I just upload more frequently, and that's why my stats are the way they are. And I've come to depend on the amount of earnings that I get from having that many views per month. And quote becoming like them and then immediately slashing my earnings in like in either half or a quarter or even would be a big problem so no uploading less frequently would not fix my problem because again my goal here is to grow as fast as possible on youtube and it's obvious that daily uploads is the way to go so the next suggestion would be to play different games so this kind of goes back to the definition of content Right now, if I were to drop everything in place of Nautica, that's not content. I mean, it's awesome. It's a fun game. I love it. I, a good amount of my audience loves it too, actually. But the problem is YouTube's not going to push it because it's inevitable that there's going to be less people watching a Subnautica video. Uh, even if it's the best game on earth, if it's something people haven't heard of, they're not even going to give it a chance, which is human nature. I'm not going to blame people for doing that, but that's just the way it is. And if there's any statistical difference in my channel then again youtube's gonna be like hmm this guy is slowly becoming less quote relevant is making us less money let's promote someone that makes us more money that's literally what youtube does i uh, so again it's a problem i can't upload other games i mean maybe i can but i have to ease into it or we can force it and do the discord thing that i'm hoping if I remember to, I can record after this because I forgot to record the Discord segment. We're going to have to put it in the beginning of the video. But, like, having people on a Discord kind of hacks the system in a way. Because... Can you, like, stop being annoying? Oh, my God. So, anyway, my audience is here so far for Hypixel Skyblock. That's how I got my recent growth in subscribers it's how i've been making a living is hypixel skyblock if i try to play anything different then there's problems except for 30 virus rants this is actually the only exception i think i said that earlier i'm playing bed wars and talking about things that make me mad and that actually like <laughs> nice again oh come on there you go hello Oh, wait, what the hell? A new challenger approach? Just what was that? So if I were to introduce a new game to my channel, I'm probably going to have to introduce it uh, in a more subtle way. Uh, because if I lean hard into a new series, obviously my stats are going to suffer and then it's going to cause that snowball effect where everything just gets recommended less and the problem gets worse and worse. Uh, but there is a way to hack the system, as I've said before, and that's Discord. Giving people notifications through Discord, what it will do is it will give my videos a better chance because people... <laughs> I almost have enough people in the Discord for another YouTube rank. There's literally almost 30,000 members on the block! Anyway, there's like 30,000 people in the Discord. Now, it's obvious that YouTube doesn't notify everybody of my uploads because if it did, I'd be getting hundreds of thousands of views per video. So what happens? Well, YouTube doesn't even know how to do notifications properly. It bases most of what you see off of recommended, like from people that you don't even watch. Oh crap, this dude's here. You are a problem, oh boy. <laughs> Why? Why? No, you need to just stop. Why did that happen? 
<laughs> you should definitely join the discord if you want to actually catch my content because youtube will not show it to you all the time it, that's just a fact um me seeks on the other hand the the bot that i've got set up for this will 100 tell you so that's really cool and if you want to support this channel even if you can't donate whatever that that's fine but if you show up to every video 100 you're going to be helping a ton like i cannot describe how good it is to join the discord and to have like and to be ready for those notifications the instant a video comes out because here's a little secret about youtube youtube judges how good a video does based on the amount of views he gets in a specified amount of time in the first hour in the first day and in the first week so the more people in the discord the more people getting notifications the more people getting notifications the more views in the first hour and the more views in the first hour means the more that a video gets pushed overall same goes for a day if it gets more views in one day than most of your other videos then it's going to get pushed more so just being in the discord and you know clicking on those notifications going straight to the video helps out a lot even if it's something you don't like give it a chance because you know i know we're kind of wired to not like new things or to be kind of suspicious of new things but i would say just give it a chance like chances are right if you've enjoyed my content for many months you have a similar taste in games to me right and if i pick a game for example subnautica and you've never heard of it before you have, you have no idea what the game is about but you give it a chance you, there's a pretty high likelihood that you're gonna like it that's the way i think um playing different games could work but otherwise it's not gonna happen because just playing different game modes in Minecraft causes enough of a decrease in views for that snowball effect of things just dying as time goes on. Like, it's no secret my views have gone down since I've started Sky Factory, or at least views per month. So Sky Factory, speaking of, it did show promise at first. It got more views than a Skyblock episode did, which is impressive on its own. But, um... But anyway, it started out with more views than a Skyblock episode, which is really promising. But then as the series went on, you know, episode ones tend to do best. No matter what it is, the episode one of any series, as long as it goes on for more than like five episodes, it's going to get a huge boost compared to normal videos. And I think that's because of people watching future episodes and wanting to go back. But anyway, as the series went on, it died. Like the most recent Sky Factory episode has still not even reached 50,000 views yet, which 50,000 views is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But in terms of like my progress as a YouTuber and what I've come to expect from content. Oh my God. This dude is so thirsty. He gives me like no time. Just freaking go away. No. <gasps> no. I'm going to die to fire. And the thing about the Sky Block or Sky Factory episodes is that Fessy put more time into Sky Factory than any other Sky Block video. And the reason's obvious. We knew this was going to happen. We, but we wanted to make the videos as good as possible to reduce the amount of people that lack interest. So if you go back, it, I think there's like eight episodes of Sky Factory now. They are all so funny. Like, it is the best moments out of like four hours of gameplay each compressed into like 15 minutes and they are really funny moments and it's like honestly it's higher the it's higher quality than most youtube videos in general like it's up there with like vanos gaming and stuff and like it's almost a womble video is what i'm trying to say and a soviet womble if you don't know who soviet womble is would highly recommend but anyway we intentionally made that series the best we could put as much effort in as we possibly could but the algorithmic influ influences have already doomed the series so that's the problem right is that people that you know at least somewhat enjoyed the series again i'm not blaming people for not watching something different but just because there's a small percentage of people that you know oh my god you have like no health bye <laughs> so i really want to play other games i really do even in you know minecraft but the problem is again these algorithm algorithmic influences also there's obviously the decrease in views because you know my audience is skyblock but i want to get out of that and we're slowly getting out of that and that's the solution to this problem it just takes a while is this man gonna wake up or no okay <laughs> boop, boop, boop. 
The next suggestion that people have given me when I brought the content drought issue up is to make a second channel. Now this, you know, seems to make sense in a lot of these ways, right? Fezzi gets paid because he's making videos. Um, I don't see any algorithmic problems because, you know, I'm not putting my channel in any sort of, there's nothing happening to my channel in terms of stats, right? If I upload a Gmod video and it gets like five views on a different channel, who cares? It's not on the 30 virus channel, so it's not gonna affect my stats on the 30 virus channel. The problem is I'm human. We already have a daily upload schedule. So like the fact that like that reality of making a second channel would mean that I have to make two videos every day or a video every day plus one once a week on a different channel that's a huge responsibility and it already is hard enough to get one video out per day and increasing my workload even more and paying fezzy like at least a hundred dollars to edit a video on a channel that's brand new first of all i'm gonna lose money from having the video be edited so that's that's point number one is that i'm literally gonna make no money off of that second channel i'm actually gonna lose money and I'm banking on the fact that it succeeds as a variety channel, which if anyone's ever been on YouTube, you would know that those are extremely rare. So that brings us to what is the actual solution? I've been hinting at it this whole video, and it's that, yes, I need to branch out from Hypixel Skyblock. Obviously, it's a game mode not designed for daily content, but what is what do I do? How do I branch out? It's obvious that every time I try and branch out, it doesn't work because people are fickle and they like to stick to the same thing. And that combined with the algorithmic influences means that I just am not given a chance on anything. What the hell are you? No, you need to stop. I'm so freaking bad at this game. So how exactly am I going to branch out from Skyblock, right? Like, that's the eternal question. How the hell do I escape this niche that I found myself in? Obviously, Skyblocks brought me all sorts of success, right? I went from, like, 50,000 subs to 250,000 subs, almost. I mean, as of recording, it's like 230-something thousand, but you, you get the point. I'm going to be at 250,000 subs probably within the month. So, like, it obviously... And it gave me content for a whole year. I've been uploading for a literal year with this game mode. So what the hell do I do? Because it's it's been tapped dry. I have some ideas. For example, I'm starting a hardcore series, but um, that's gonna give me content for quite a while, but it's, it's a temporary solution. Everything Skyblock is temporary. Oh, Aqua doesn't have a bed. No wonder he's been sweating so hard. But anyway, Skyblock is not a source for content forever. I want to leave Skyblock in terms of daily uploads. I don't wanna quit the game. Like, I'd be happy with uploading, like, three Skyblock videos a week and then four of something else. That, I think, is sustainable. Three videos a week? I could do that. Like, that is, that's actually pretty easy. So I think the solution, honestly, is going to be just pushing super hard with the Discord. Because the more people that are on that notification system and the more people that are willing to watch anything I upload, the better. Because, you know, people are allowed to not like things. You know, I accept the fact that like 25 to 50% of my audience probably won't like a different game. But the fact is, if I get like, say, oh, I see you, 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 Invisman, Invisman, hello. Hold on, I need to grab this emerald. Oh no 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 I hope people understand my situation a bit better now that this video is out. Because like it's been it's not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying when I'm talking about my issues, right? And the thing is, I've never released a video, a full-length video talking about the content drought, like in terms of like what it is and why it's bad. So like People, understandably, don't get it. They're not YouTubers, right? They don't understand the fact that there is, like, this force in the background, this algorithmic factor that's just preventing me from branching out. And they they're, they think it's obvious. They're like, oh, just upload something else, like, or whatever. They have all the solutions that I, the quote, solutions that I've listed. And none of it would work because of the reasons I've described. So hopefully... Now that people understand the situation a bit better, we can be a bit more productive about the whole thing. At the end of the day, I just want to have fun playing games while it being my job. You know, I want to do this YouTube thing long term, and it's obvious that I can't just be a Skyblock YouTuber forever. So I want to see what happens at this point. I hope that I can escape.
and if i do escape there's gonna be some great content i just give the sky factory series a chance if you haven't already i'll leave it in the uh in the end screens the annotation things just in case you haven't had a chance to check it out yet it's the most effort that me and fezzi have put into a let's play i would say ever to be honest per episode there's more work put into those than anything so i would give it a chance it's very fun uh the moral of the story here is uh i guess give the content a chance if it's something you don't normally upload also if you want to reduce that algorithmic factor i think there is a feature on youtube that again it's not going to guarantee it even though it says it does but if you um on youtube itself you click on uh i think it's the notification bell right so it's somewhere under the video there's a bell um you click the bell and then you can hit an option that says more options there's a button that says more options and then there is where you can hit an option that says notify me always that as opposed to what it says will not notify you always but it will notify you at least a little bit because without that it will go weeks without even showing some of my content it's really annoying oh my god these combos are annoying so yeah, between that and joining the Discord, uh, discord.gg slash 30 virus, link in the description. Uh, so what do you want to see from my channel? Now that we've gotten to the point where it's time to branch out, you know, I am still going to have my hardcore series. I have about 14-ish videos planned. And if you include the 250k special, I have about... I would say 14-ish videos planned. So that's easily two weeks worth of content most of which isn't even episodic which is really good because the episodic stuff is easier to put out so what do you want from my what do you want to see from my channel i have prop for diamond armor by the way holy that's not even fair <laughs> so maybe we can turn things into content that otherwise would not be content if we have everybody on the notification bell in the discord because then right if people enjoy watching me play subnautica subnautica becomes content and then like i would probably get two weeks of footage out of a let's play of the game which would be sick Hello, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Nice. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, less angry than the other ones, but you should 100% join the Discord. Check out the Sky Factory series. It's dying because of the factors I've been stating. If you want the series to survive or if you've never given it a chance before and you actually are interested in me and Fezzy messing around being funny, then I would highly recommend it. Well, anyways, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.